right. Hey, give these guys a hand. Let them know you appreciate them, if you will. And uh, real quick, uh, are, you, are you happy to be here today? Huh? Well, happy Thanksgiving. It's a special Thanksgiving service. It's always fun to get everybody together from both sides of the campus on these Thanksgiving Day services. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, go ahead and have a seat, if you will. Uh, this is a special time we do on Thanksgiving service days, and uh, it's, a, it's a baby dedication, or what we call a baby dedication, but uh, we've got several that we're going to bring up here on stage with us this morning. Pastor Glenn, uh, do we have any instructions for what's going to happen here? Do not drop the babies. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good. That's a good one. Now, just uh, when, when uh, Erica calls your name, by the way, give Erica a hand to our children's minister. Does a great job. And her team. When she calls the family's name, if there's extended family here that have come to support the, uh, the baby and the family during this dedication, you guys are welcome to stand where you are and just show your support. And uh, the family with the child can come forward and speak with Pastor Bo for a minute. And uh, those are really the only instructions, right? Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Um, could the Winter family come up? The Winter family has Adeline and Jeremy today. Adeline was born um, on August 11th, 2014, to Brent and Heather. Adeline has a big brother, Jeremy, who is six. Adeline is special because she has a joyous laugh that lights up the room. Brent and Heather's hopes and dreams for Adeline are that she will be happy and healthy and that she will know her family loves her unconditionally. Adeline is being dedicated today because her parents want to publicly share their commitment to raise her according to Christ's ways. born on March 26, 2008. Jeremy is special because he has a love for his family that is enormous and his creativity is without bounds. Brent and Heather's hopes and dreams for Jeremy are that he will grow to love and serve the Lord and that he will always remain true to himself. Jeremy is also being dedicated today because his parents want to publicly share their commitment to raise him to live for Jesus. <laughs> Next is the Moore family. Leslie and Cassinius Moore. Um, this is Caden Ramon Moore. Caden was born on December 5th, 2013 to Cassinius and Leslie. Caden is special because his parents consider him their miracle baby. They had lost two babies prior to having Caden, but God blessed their family with him. Cassinius and Leslie's hopes and dreams for Caden are to nurture him into a respectable, caring, and compassionate man of God. Caden is being dedicated today because his parents want to publicly share their commitment to raise him in a God-fearing and God-loving home. <laughs> Kenley McClendon. This is Kenley Palmer McClendon. Kinley was born to Michael and Jill McClendon on October 15th, 2013. Kinley is special because she is so full of life. She smiles, waves, and blows kisses to everyone she meets. Michael and Jill's hopes and dreams for Kinley are that she will be a light for Christ in a dark world and to show God's love and grace by helping others. Kinley is being dedicated today because her parents know that the Lord have entrusted her with them for only a short time and they want to publicly commit to instilling God's amazing love and grace within her heart. All right, uh, what do you guys think? Pretty good looking crew, huh? And uh, not too shabby. And uh, I, I explained to each of these families that it's an incredible, incredible blessing that they have been given by God, but at the same time, an enormous responsibility, especially in this day and this culture and this age. Uh, I also told them that we as a church are coming around them to challenge them challenge them to, to be the parents that God wants them to be, to raise their kids as God would have them do that. 
And at the same time, we're going to, as a church, be there for them. We're going we're gonna to pray for them. We're going to pray with them. And uh, we're going to hold them to that as parents. You guys with me on that, huh? All right. I'm going to say, join me in a, in a prayer of dedication. <clears throat> Father, we thank you so much for the gifts and these children that you have given to us, to these parents, to these grandparents, to this church. Father, I pray this is not something that we would take lightly, but we would understand the impact that parenting your way has on generation after generation. Father, help us to challenge each other, to, to be there, to pray for each other, with each other, so that we can raise children that glorify and honor you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's give them one more hand as they exit off the stage, guys, okay? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And uh, I tell you what, go ahead and stand up. And a lot of you don't get to see each other because we're always scattered around on Sundays. Go meet at least three people you don't already know. Give them a hug. Tell them you're happy to see them this Thanksgiving.